Jupiter and it's Green Dot 319. How are we all doing? I have a very quick video for you today about improving the Joe's Motorpool carb uh, from its factory settings, okay? This carb is great. Um, if you haven't got an original and you don't want to build an original, this thing's fantastic. You can see I put it on my Jeep with a brand new engine straight out of the box and it started up just like this. So that's without touching it or doing anything to it. So it runs great straight out of the box. So that's fantastic. But if you want to tinker with it and just change it just a little bit, I think that it runs slightly too rich um, in when the metering rod is controlling the fueling for it, okay? So I wanted to change it slightly. And you can do this if you want to. You can not do it if you don't want to. Either way, it works well. I think it just needs to be a touch leaner. So I told you about that previously, but I didn't show you how to easily do it, okay? So the thing to do is then, this is sitting on your Jeep, on your manifold. You've got it idling nicely. This uh, idle screw is set so that it's idling at the speed you want. Perfect, turn off the Jeep, leave it. Right, remove, there's a little clip here and a spring. Remove this linkage, drop him out of the way. You'll have your um, throttle, your hand throttle, cable coming down here, undo the end of it, pull it out, and then what we do is undo these screws here. We're gonna take off the air horn with the carburetor. We're not gonna undo all these um, cables and things on here because we don't need to. All we need to do is move this little horn out of the way. So when it's on there, you've got your cables coming in here, lift it up, and then just move it across out of the way. It'll sit somewhere like this then. Obviously, I'm now gonna take it out of the way. And what we've got, is we've got our metering rod assembly and our accelerator pump assembly, okay? And this is what we're gonna be playing with here. Now, I reckon in the factory, when they set these up, the carbs up, I, they probably use this little tool here, okay? And that sets the height of the metering rod. I don't believe in this tool. I've never used it and I don't think you need to. I think it's, um, maybe it gives them somewhere to hang their hat off when they're setting them up, but I don't think you need to use it. So what you can do is we can set this metering rod so that when the Jeep is running at idle, remember we'd set the idle speed up so it's all happy we're at the idle position here. This metering rod should be seated down at the bottom of this bowl here in its little seat, okay? So all we have to do is get a spanner on here, loosen it off where the metering rod is, and look, the metering rod's moving up and down, which means at the idle running position, the metering rod is lifted out of its seat, which is not what we want. So all we do is drop him down there. See, let's drop him to there and then tighten him back up, okay? And what we've got then is that metering rod is now seated at the idle position there, and there's a little, this little pin sits in the top of that eyelet there. So as soon as you open the throttle, you see it starts to lift the metering rod. If that little pin was too far down, um, when you started to open the throttle, the metering rod wouldn't lift up because it could move up the eyelet first. So that's how we want it there. As Soon as you touch the throttle, it moves. So the needle, or should I say the metering rod is seated and ready to move. And that's all there is to it. So now we've got the main jet is not doing anything at idle, whereas before some of the fuel would be flowing uh, through the seat where this metering rod is set and running the main jet at idle, which is not what we want. So you'd have too rich a mixture there. So because that main jet was possibly doing a little bit of work at idle, once you put the horn back on, so the horn goes back on, do your, your linkage back on and everything like that, you may need to just adjust slightly the uh, leanness here at idle, okay? So you may need to enrich it just a touch, but that's for you to play with and work out to see when you get it running nice and smooth, okay? And all you need to do is have it idling, get the engine nice and warm, and then lean it off until it sort of starts to die a little bit, and then just start to then enrich it, so turn it counterclockwise till it runs smoothly, and that's all you need to do. And then you should have, as soon as you move the throttle, good throttle response because of the accelerator pump and when it's running a little bit faster and this meeting rod is doing what it's supposed to do you should have a slightly leaner running engine which means um, that uh, your plugs won't foul and it will run just a little bit uh, smoother but there you go that's all there is to it you just seat that metering rod very simple very straightforward five minute job um, and in my opinion it's how it should be it says in the Carter rebuild information that is how you set the metering rod uh, it should be seated at idle, and that's what we're doing there. So really simple fix for a very good carburetor. Awesome.